sick and reviews. For this video, I will be reviewing the Gorillaz' third studio album, Plastic Beach, released on the Virgin Record label March 9th, 2010, nearly five years since their previous release, Neiman Days. Plastic Beach features 16 standard tracks, plus two bonus if you download the deluxe edition through iTunes. One thing I liked about this album was that it had a lot of variety in terms of genres. The Gorillas continued with their usual styles, hip hop, electro, pop, and some rock flavor. But they also experimented with some new genres, classical or orchestral, and they even had some soul style music in there. Some of this was due in part to the guest performances on each track, but what's impressive is that the Gorillas can take an artist's style who is performing with them on a track and mix it with their own style to produce one song that fuses both genres. And it's for this reason that the Gorillas are one of today's most creative artists. Something I found in my research on this album that I thought was really interesting was Sweepstakes featuring Moss Def was recorded in one take. This was a great accomplishment on the Gorillaz and Moss Def's part. This track featured a lot of rapping from Moss Def and there was some special editing that needed to be done for some different effects that they used. So doing that in one take makes it especially difficult, but all that more rewarding when they finish it and I applaud them for this. Of the 18 songs on the album, my favorites were White Flag, Rhinestone Eyes, Glitter Freeze, Sweepstakes, and Pirate Jet. One thing that always astounded me was how the Gorillas can make such a mellow album such as Plastic Beach, but still incorporate the silliness and craziness that they do on all their albums. Overall, this was a very chill record. Damon Alborn said he wanted to achieve a melancholy sound, and he definitely achieved that. This album, you just turn it on and relax. Lay back and listen. Up on melancholy hills and the plastic tree Are you here with me? Just looking out on the day of another dream. The collaborations on this album gave some of their songs a new feel. Bobby Womack brought in some soul. There was the Lebanese National Orchestra for Oriental Arabic Music and Sinfonia Viva, as well as there was some definite multicultural styles brought in. As I mentioned, the Lebanese orchestra, bands from Sweden like Little Dragon, just all these collaborations made this album truly unique. One of the words I used to describe this album is experimental. There was a lot of new and unique sounds that the Gorillaz incorporated into their songs. One of my favorites was in Pirate Jet, this boing noise that they use, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Have a listen. The great thing about sounds like this is that you can just throw them in the background of a song and it just adds to the entire effect of the music. Murdoch Nichols stated in his track commentary for Super Fast Jellyfish that, quote, if you turn it up loud enough, all the colors start spilling and washing out of the speakers. You could fill a room with a track like this, end quote. Now this doesn't just apply to Super Fast Jellyfish, but the entire album, in my opinion. Because if you turn the speakers up loud enough, you can hear all the little details and unique sounds that the Gorillas have meticulously worked into their album and you'll just appreciate their music that much more. And now it's time for my final review. I truly enjoyed this album and thought it was very creative. I definitely recommend that you go out and get it however you normally get your music. 
I'm going to give Plastic Beach a three and a half out of five stars.